as we gather in this new month, we dedicate our meditation towards thinking and praying for the holy souls. It's a new week and you are most welcome. We take a moment or two to reflect deeply on the call to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul and strength. In the stillness of our hearts, let us invite the presence of God, who is our refuge and our strength. Just for a moment or two, to imagine the warmth of his love surrounding you. A love that transcends time and space. As Moses in the readings yesterday urged the people of Israel, we too are invited to embrace this commandment as the very foundation of our lives. Think about what it means to prioritize your relationship with God above all else. In this moment, consider the areas of your life where you may be holding back, where you may not fully trust in His goodness. Reflect on the promise that comes with this command. A life enriched by communion with God, filled with his love and grace. How does this promise resonate within you? How does it inspire you to live differently? As we acknowledge our own need for strength, let us also remember the countless souls who have gone before us. In this month of the holy souls, we honor their memory and pray for their eternal rest. Let us unite our hearts with theirs asking for their intercession as we strive to deepen our love for God. In our struggles, in our challenges, may we find comfort in knowing that Christ, as our eternal High Priest, intercedes for us. He offers us the perfect example of love that not only embraces God, but also extends to our neighbors. Take a moment or two to consider how can you express this love in your daily life? How can you reach out to others, especially those in need, as a reflection of your love for God? As we conclude this meditation, let us carry these thoughts with us, writing them on our hearts. May they shape our actions and our lives 
leading us closer to the kingdom of God, a kingdom rooted in love. And so with great confidence in God our Father's love for us, we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and that the hour of our death, amen. May you be blessed as you journey through the week. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.